Uh, oh, come on! Looks like it's working. Uh, 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 uh. I should probably edit these videos before I uh, begin. Okay, it's working. Alright, welcome back to the finale! Well, kinda. As it turns out, when I skipped on the last part, it went straight to the final ending. <laughs> Oops. So, what I'm going to show you is the uh, one of the climax climax of the of the game that <laughs> that was very important to go, but I skipped the entire thing, went straight for the final ending. I might have to show you the the bad ending too. So there's a good ending and a bad ending. So I'll show you that too. If I have time. As you can see, or here, I mean, I have my cocoa, and my fan is making noises. Oh, uh, just a sec. I gotta pound that thing. Well, that's gonna be noisy for a while. Open sesame. that thing. Ooh, there's a coffee mug. Okay, uh that looks like a patch bay for audio visual transmission. So many computers here. And they look so different than most of the computers that I've seen and used. So many computers here. Alright. And they look so... Uh, why is it empty this time? Why would I just leave this empty? Hey, they know I'm expecting... Well, it seems everybody is gone. Maybe I can find them using this elevator. The Land of Renovators. What a long ride. I thought I was going to go up, not down. Oh, it's so cold down here. Oh, maybe that boy can tell me what this place is. Finally, someone. Hi, my name's Conrad. What's yours? My name is Phoenix. Tell me, Conrad, aren't you supposed to be at the Child Development Center? What's that? You don't know what a Child Development Center is? Where are we, anyhow? We're in the land of renovators. Don't you know? Renovators? Never heard of that before. Is it a New Age religious group? No. Who are the renovators, then? They're just renovators. Hey, wait! What was the little kid doing in a dungeon like this? What am I doing? Just a sec. Oh, yeah. That's why I had this set for the other game previously. Uh, okay. I'm sure you guys are going to hear it. Hopefully it won't be too loud. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think that field triggered an alarm.
Josh. It's the only computer that seems to be working around here. Who on earth is Joshua? Nah. Reference. So funny. Uh, yes. No. Bishop C1, A3, Knight B2, G3. Darn, I lost. Let's play thermonuclear war. Nah, who would want to play war games with a computer? Boring. <laughs> That's good. Right, let's play some tic tic toe, eh? Uh, I don't know. I'm too fucking lazy to play it. Let it play itself. Computers are booting up. This computer looks like it's crashed. Hey, that's the Adrianopolis Business District. Why would anybody want to watch that? These computers are so new. I've never seen such a sophisticated system in the Union before. scientists miss something like this. I can't believe it. This is a restricted area. Can I help you? My name is Phoenix. I'm a peace officer. Why is this place restricted? A peace officer? There is no such thing as a peace officer in the land of renovators. Are you from the World Union or Russia? Russia? I'm not from Russia. I'm a proud citizen of the World Union. Right. Nice to meet you, Phoenix, from the World Union. My name is Sarah, and I am a renovator. So, Sarah, why is this place restricted again? Why do you think? This is the heart of the communications we have. I see. Can you tell me what renovators do? Nobody told you yet. No. In that case, I can't help you either. Why not? Because it seems that you are not ready for such knowledge yet. Now, I'm going to ask you to leave. Nice to have met you, Phoenix. Oh, 
be so such a the alarm is turned off. I had to turn down for the KGB game on my other let's play. The ad lib music was just banging. It looks like a hospital. She cat. must be in charge. She looks like a medical doctor. Hello. Are you a medical doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. I'm managing the shift here in the sick bay. My name is Phoenix. Are you a renovator? Of course. And my name is Wilma. <laughs> By the way, I really like your Wilma. name. Thank you. Can you tell me what renovators do? I'm afraid I cannot, Phoenix. Only Grandmasters have the right to disclose that information to those who are not renovators. What is a Grandmaster? We call our leaders Grandmasters. There are also Masters, Journeymen, and Women, and Apprentices. And you are? I am a Journeywoman. Does this mean you travel a lot? No, it just means I still have a lot to learn. So, where can I find a Grand Master? Don't worry, Phoenix. You will meet one soon. And good luck to you in your quest. My quest? What are you talking about? What is my quest? There is a reason why you are here, Phoenix. And with that name, it just cannot be a coincidence. My name? What does my name have to do with anything? Don't worry. You will find out. Now you need to leave. Very nice to meet you, Phoenix. I'm sure we will meet again soon. But, wait a minute. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, <laughs> of course. The tunnels can be deceiving to a stranger. All roads here lead to a grand shaft. And how do I get to this... Grand Shaft. Let's see. The shortest way is take a left when you get out of here. Yeah. Then a right. Another right. Left. Then second left. And second right. You'll find it straight ahead. Journeymen, women, what a strange place this is. Anyhow, I need to find myself a Grand Master. Hopefully, he'll have some answers. Do you have the answers, Grand Master? Now, what did she say again? First left, then right, another right, then what? Whatever. Wow, what a massive natural shaft. And look at all those doors. These people have carved a tower inside the rock. These pipes are hot.
Hey, it's you again. Wait! Come back, I said. Oh, I can't believe that I lost him again. How does he do that? Yikes! It smells like real meat. How barbaric. It looks like some kind of a digital control card. I got distracted. A control panel of some sort, but I don't think it's working. These machines look important. I wonder if I can get them working. It fits perfectly, but it's still not working. nothing about electronic circuits. I can't hold those with my bare hands. They're too tiny. Yeah. I can solve this. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh... Shit. Let's see all the red. I see the green. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I think I, I think I, I think I think so.
I didn't want to. I want to. There. Okay. And this one. Oh, it's not that? Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I did it again! This one? Okay, there you go. Okay, well, let's start with the green. But I should work. Okay, I'm taking way too fucking long. Uh... Well, that fan is real noisy. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got... Yeah! Okay. Oh, wow, well, yeah. I had everything right so far. Yeah, I had everything pretty cool. All right. I did a good job. I didn't too bad of a job. Yeah, I got that one right. This one was missing. And this one was missing. As this one. And this one. I don't need to use that anymore. Ha. 
I saw this trick in an ancient 2D show called MacIver. <laughs> seen stars this bright. A simulation? For what reason? To understand it better, of course. I don't think understanding the universe makes any economic sense. I bet so many resources were used to create this amazing illusion. But what is the point? I don't know. I'm just a boy. Hey! Wait! You're not curious about other things? Is it all economics? Mm. Maybe the world you need isn't... Good as day to you. Phoenix. As Who are you? How do you know my name? I believe you were looking for me. I was? Oh. Are you a Grand Master? Yes. I am Grand Master Magnus. Very nice to meet you, sir. You are a renovator, right? Yes, Lonely Star. I am. What did you call me again? You have a beautiful name, Phoenix. Do you know what it means? Sure. It is a city in North America, right? And also some mythological creature? And a star cluster. 
a cluster formed by only one star. Oh, is that significant? <laughs> it sure is. Do you know what brought you here? Yes. I was in a room in the underground. I took this elevator. And here I am. I am not asking about the physical side of your journey, Phoenix. Why are you here? I'm investigating a crime, and some leads brought me here. Who are renovators, anyway? What is their purpose? My dear, we are all renovators here, and our purpose is to help humanity choose a path. A path? I don't understand. I thought the humanity already chose a path when it created the World Union. Some humans did, not all of them. And the World Union system is only one of the alternative paths. What other paths are there? Ours is the best system by far. All indicators point to that. Those indicators you point out are created by the system for its own support. They are not necessarily objective indicators. I know most of the things you say to me are so unscientific, but something about the way you say them makes them completely believable. I know what you are talking about. It is called instinctual trust. I suppose that's it. I trust you for no reason. I don't even know you. You don't need to know me. You have very strong instincts, and they urge you to trust me. You must listen to your instincts. Why? I don't need to listen to them. I have a very good education, and I know how to reason and deduce. I think, therefore I am. That is right. Thinking is necessary, but it can be deceiving. How can thinking deceive anyone? Humanity made all this progress by positive thinking and logic. Because we are taught how to think and what to think, which means we can also be taught what not to think. I don't understand. You will understand at your own pace. Just remember this. Our thinking schools and philosophies are only a few thousand years old. Whereas, we are all carrying something far more proven and refined. What would that be? Our instincts. The single most important thing our genes pass on. They made us survive the nature, and they represent the experience of more than a billion years. Our instincts are our most dependable assets. By finding us renovators here, you prove that you have good instincts. Can you tell me where you are from? I was born and raised in Adrianopolis. You survived the terrible riots here. I see. You must have strong survival instincts. But where are you really from? Oh, you mean my genetic makeup? I'm Welsh. Any particular region? More than 60% of my genes originate from an island called Anglesey. Anglesey. The Island of Druids. I see. You have a very long and difficult journey. A quest waiting for you, Phoenix of Anglesey. And you can only trust your instincts. A difficult quest? Somebody else also mentioned a quest. What is this about you people and quests? I'm not looking for a quest. I am just a peace officer that is trying to solve a murder case. I'm not even considered ambitious in World Union standards. Ambition only works if you know what you want. It totally blinds you if you don't. Makes you focus on things 
that will not make you happy. I don't understand. Almost everyone is happy in the Union. Are they really happy? Can they truly pursue their own understanding of happiness? Or are they blindly chasing after the happiness definition designed for them? I am totally confused. I don't think I can really understand what you are telling me. Don't you worry, my dear. I assure that you will in time. I'm totally confused, Grandmaster. You got me totally confused, Grandmaster Magnus. Your head must feel like a dusty room exposed to a strong wind. When the dust settles down, it will all fall into place, and you will come to understand. I... I suppose I will. Yes, you will. But until that dust settles, and your instincts and your subconscious really know what to do, I need to take preventative measures for renovator safety. What? Are you going to do something to me? I am going to lock your memories about the land of renovators until you truly understand your quest. Are you going to make me forget things? How? I suppose I don't want to know, but something inside tells me that I can trust you even with my memories. You will wake up in your bed, and you will only remember the vagabonds. Good night, my dear. Until we meet again. Who are the vagabonds? But... wait! Oh, no, not again. Grandmaster Magnus, please stop it. Grandmaster Magnus? What? Where am I? What is this desolate place? Oh, it's cold. These must be sleeping barracks. Lever. Should I be surprised that it's rusty as well?
how far in Russia I am. Those buildings are warped. Only intensive heat can warp a building like that. Plastic funnel. That is certainly an entry to a mine, and it's very dark inside. There you go. <laughs> Finally. An old rusty canister. It appears full. It smells like some type of fossil fuel. Now how does she know what that smells like? Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> there's some, there's, there should be some kind of sketch. Oh, there it is. Uh... Okay, I think I kind of know. It's all fuzzy. I think I've got this right this time. Oh my god, come on! Ugh. Okay. Alright. That looks like a control box. Oh, it's still going. Let's try yellow. Okay. So blue's down, yellow's right. So red could be up. Let's try that. It's like an Atari sound effect. Oh. Well, at least I know, uh... 
So blue's down. And red's up. I say reds up. Okay. Let's try this. It's a passage into the mine. I suppose it's a little late to say, open sesame. Uh. Alright, let's go. Those beams are supporting the tunnel. But they look very old and weak. You sound concerned, Phoenix. Alright. Let's get into the shaft. Why she's going there? Uh, I don't fucking trust that thing. A rusty elevator. I must be going down into the mine. I'm not sure if I want to go down that way. I'll say. It must control that rusty elevator. <clears throat> A rusty elevator. Or what? A rusty elevator. Oh, uh, what am I? Am I missing something? Oh, there you go. Weirdest dreams last night. 
but I cannot remember a thing now. Oh, look at that. It's all censored. It's all clean. right there. I can feel my case is coming to an end. I have no evidence to support it, but I just know it. Where's that? Hey, Gorel, zombie, blow everything. Just be careful, Phoenix. Really careful. Let's go ahead and save that real quick. Oh, it's only been one hour. Okay. Hi. Hello, Ms. Vanderbilt. Do you have some time for me? What I asked last time? I can't remember. Uh, I... Do you know if Mr. Bogdanov had any NGO duties? Have you ever met the man, officer? No, ma'am. I didn't have the chance. Why do you ask? Well, if you had met him, you would know that he was not cut out for an NGO duty. He was evil and had no appreciation for our system or the society. What that? Are you positive that Mr. Bogdanov was aware that the device was addicted? Oh, yeah, I got it. Of quiet course down. he was. Each time I renewed nice. the rental, that prick doubled the price. Can you tell me any specifics about your treatment at the rehab? All I can tell you is they took very good care of me. As expected. In what ways did they take care of you? Well, when I arrived there, I was a wreck. I really didn't know what end was up. You felt that bad, huh? I was addicted. All because of that bastard Bogdanov. He got you addicted? Well, let's just say he was to blame for introducing that non-certified device to me. Then what happened? When I told him I wanted to keep it a little longer, he said sure. For a price. So, he started renting the device to you. Was there any agreement about a free trial period? Yes. We made a verbal agreement for a free trial period. The first week. Then he introduced a weekly rental price, which doubled every week after that. But I didn't care. I had to have it. Experiences. I think that's why I haven't chose that yet in the last part. Can you tell me what you experienced while using the device? You know, it was a virtual reality device, but I really cannot recall much. I prefer to forget that experience altogether. Was it painful? Is that why you prefer to forget it? No, I don't recall any pain, but it was just so intense. Intense? In what way? I remember that the experiences I had were completely realistic. I hadn't seen a virtual reality device like that before. And what did you experience? My favorite program was the sexual encounter routine. It was the most tantalizing experience I've ever encountered. Was it that realistic? It was beyond realism. How come? Because I've yet to experience an emotion so overpowering. I thought you did not remember much from your experiences. I do not remember the details, but I do remember the intense emotional pleasure that I received. The bad thing was, whenever the routine ended, I was ready for more and more. Then I became addicted. Didn't you see the irrationality of paying so much money 
for this kind of a device? The device had such a grip on me. I just couldn't let go with it. Why? Because I've yet to experience any feeling so overpowering. She's not bad looking. <laughs> I mean, if I... Can you describe me the device, please? I'm not sure if I can. Do not worry. The GPSN suspect modeling software can be used for device descriptions. Well, I would have thought you would have seen one of these devices. Why do you need a description from me? For safety reasons, we are not granted right. access yet. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. We already seen. Thanks all so this. much for all your help, Miss Vanderbilt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I must be one of the few people who knows what. The I think it's time to report my. Let's just skip all this. I have some important. Lena Vanderbilt told me that she had received excellent treatment at the rehab center. I only have a little time. Continue. Uh... Lena Vanderbilt didn't know that Bogdanov had been murdered, since she was just recently discharged from the rehab center. She didn't seem to be upset about Bogdanov's death at all. As a matter of fact, there was a bitterness in her voice when she spoke of Bogdanov. Is this really relevant to the case? <laughs> um, I'm not sure, but I certainly don't want to miss out on anything. Right. Dr. Gazella Nemeth told me that the task oh, force did not detect Gisella. any sign of even a <laughs> minor blow to Spencer's head, oh, and their scans revealed no sign of exposure to any harmful high-frequency waves. Then what caused the man's death? Well, they're pretty sure that there was some sort of an external manipulation to Spencer's brain. Evidently, a neuroengineer from the NC Research Triangle is on his way to help them identify the link between the device and Spencer's hemorrhage. It's very strange that this medical task force doesn't have access to the device that caused all this. But I suppose it's only natural that our headquarters would want this deadly device to be examined by experienced engineers. There's another strange detail that Dr. Nemeth revealed to me. Apparently, Spencer had ejaculated within seconds of the hemorrhage. Ejaculated? I don't know what to make of that. Neither do I, Chief. Everyone comes. I request no warrant. I have nothing further to mention at this time. Okay, uh... Is that the second floor, right? Right I talked to old Julius in the last part. So I can go ahead and skip him. I would like to look for this item in the footage. Uh, okay, let's try. Yes, there it is. It is in pieces, but it's there. Wow. Thanks, Harold. Anytime, Phoenix. There. I think it's time to report my findings to Chief Morrison. I have some important facts to discuss, Chief. I have proof that there was a virtual reality device in Perez's plane when it crashed. 
the same device that Lena Vanderbilt was using. You must be joking. How do you know? I took the sketch that I obtained from Lena Vanderbilt to the monitoring room, and a remarkable software helped me to locate the pieces of the device at Perez's crash site. Very hard to believe. I think I need to report this to our chief executive immediately. Where is this proof again? You can obtain it from Harold, in the monitoring room. One of Beverly's young engineers, right? Yes, Chief. Uh, not yet. Phoenix, Julio did a thorough background check on Mr. Mikhailov, and unfortunately, there are some dark issues about this man. I want you to find him and have a serious talk with him. Understood, Chief. I know where to find Mikhailov in the evening. It just skips right on through. I have a few more questions for you, Mr. Mikhailov. Certainly. Okay, uh... Where were you on okay, April last, 7th? Ask them. I was in Russia. The bot, so, when did you arrive to the Union? I arrived on the 8th, in the afternoon. What were you doing in Russia on April 7th? I was with my family. It was Sunday, so we went to church together. I see that you're a man of faith, Mr. Mikhailo. Yes, I am. Were you in contact with Mr. Bogdanov when he was in Odessa? Certainly not. I didn't know he was in Russia. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that he would have mentioned his plans about visiting Russia. You are childhood friends, after all. I'm sure he would have wanted to visit you, just like you visit him. No, really, I had no idea. Did you have a business relationship with Mr. Bogdanov? No, I didn't. I can't believe you are accusing me like this. I had no reason to harm him. Hmm. I don't remember mentioning anything about harm. Now that you mention it, how can you convince me that you really wouldn't harm him? I was his brother-in-law, for Christ's sake. You were what? His brother-in-law. Wait, let me think. I'm not used to this biological family lingo. Are you... Larissa Lucan's brother? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I know this. Larissa Lucan is a... Uh, this is incredible. Uh, alliteration. Officer, I need to <laughs> leave now. I have to catch a meeting. You do? All right. But do not leave town for the time being. I'm sure I will need to ask you further questions. Uh, okay. I won't. I know it's late, but I need to report my findings to Chief Morrison. Damn, they won't let me find a sp <laughs> You better have a good reason for bringing me here this late. Ilya Mikhailov confessed to me that he is actually Bogdanov's brother-in-law and Larissa Lukin's biological brother. Lukin's bio brother? No kidding. Has Larissa mentioned anything to you before about having a biological brother? No, absolutely not. In that case, you should pay a visit to Ms. Lukin first thing in the morning. I totally agree. I only have a little time. Continue. Ilya Mikhailov told me that he arrived in the Union the day after Bogdanov was murdered. I already verified this through our records. Apparently, he was in Russia the day Bogdanov died. What a coincidence. But it doesn't mean anything. No. Not yet. I have nothing oh, further to mention yeah, at this time. Oh, good. I can save. I better pay a visit to Larissa first. She's been hiding stuff from me. Hello, Larissa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
inquire. Who is Ilya Mikhailov? Ilya. Oh, oh my. Tell me, Larissa, before I take you into custody for violating Article 7. Damn. She was he, he is my, my bio relative. Exactly what relation? My bio brother from, from Russia. So you lied to me about your bio relations. It, it shouldn't have mattered. Uh, I don't remember what I asked last time. Oh. What was your bio brother doing with Mr. Bogdanov? I have no idea. It is impossible that they are seeing each other. I hear that they were quite friendly with each other, Larissa. But I do not understand. How can they meet? Why do you think it was impossible for them to see each other? You see, my, oh my, Phoenix. Why, Larissa? It is very important. They used to work together. You mean your biological brother was also a Gambino? I am afraid that is correct. Gambino. Your bio brother and your former nuptial partner were business partners? We all grew up together, supported each other through tough childhood. We had no choice about what to become. Okay, we heard of this last, last part. Is your brother still linked with the Gambinos? To my knowledge, yes. He was. And we know that. Larissa? And us. So does a. I and think us. it's time to report. And that. I have some important facts to discuss, Chief. Chief. Larissa Lukin revealed to me that Mikhailov was also a. Uh, hey, let's uh, request no warrant. I have yeah, nothing further to mention at this time. All right. Uh, well, what should we go next? Uh, let's go to the house, eh? It says Pierre is done. Let's go to the Phoenix house for no reason. Oh, what's this? New urgent message. Hmm. I wonder what this is about. We'll see. Let's find out. Phoenix, I'm proud to tell you that Julio has successfully solved the Bogdanov case. He did? Yes, he did. He came to me requesting a questioning warrant for Ilya Mikhailov, and I granted it to him. He successfully questioned Mr. Mikhailov, Revealing that Mr. Bogdanov was murdered by a Gambino hitman. Oh, really? Good job, Julio. Yes. I congratulated Julio for piecing together all the evidence in your reports. Now he's going to Russia to apprehend the murderer with the help of our Russian counterparts. I see. I also promoted Julio to a senior, and from now on, he will be the lead investigating officer, and you will be helping him to dig up information. Hi. I understand, Chief. Good. Julio, good luck to you in Russia. We won't let you down, Chief. Well, good job, Julio. Good fucking job. I guess I found that you failed the fastest test. Not a chance. We try and all the good things. This is how I taught you next thing. Today. This test will be inevitable. Dagmar Morrison, GPS and Center. Oh, game over. Good ending. Good ending. Not bad. Yeah, it's a little downer, but hey, man. That's a good ending. Game's over. All right. I better pay a visit. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. Seinfeld reference. Uh huh. Yeah. Whatever. Uh huh. Okay. So I think it's time to. Rip I have some important. Chief, Larissa Lukin revealed to me that Mikhailov was also a Gambino. Mikhailov. What? 
another Gambino. What did she say exactly? Larissa claims that her biological brother is possibly still linked with the Gambinos, and furthermore, he may still be very close to the top. A top Gambino member in the World Union? I can't believe it. However, we have to take into consideration that Ms. Lucan is not what we'd consider a reliable source, is she now? You've got a point there, Chief. All right. Now it's our turn to question Mikhailov. Chief, I would like to have a questioning warrant for Mikhailov. So, did you get your story straightened out? Yes, I have. Then let's hear it. We know that Bogdanov was renting out illegal devices. Lethal devices. Lena Vanderbilt is a witness to this rental business. And we have Melvin Spencer, lying dead at the rehab center. Although a direct link between the device and Spencer's death cannot be confirmed, criminal task force specialists are certain that the device was the cause of Spencer's death. And those specialists haven't even seen or touched this mysterious device, right? Anyway, please continue. Larissa claims that her biological brother Mikhailov used to have links with the Gambino crime family, but she isn't sure if he still has a link or not. Heck, there's hardly anything that Larissa is sure about. We already know that, Phoenix. Get to the point. Maybe Mikhailov still has links with the Gambinos, or maybe he doesn't. What's important is, there is a pattern. He has a criminal past, oh, and I believe that Bogdanov and Mikhailov were together in this illegal device rental business, along with Perez, who was running the illegal products across the border, in his cargo planes. So, do you think Mikhailov was involved in the murder? I think something went wrong with the device that Spencer happened to rent. And perhaps Bogdanov and Mikhailov had a meeting in Odessa, Russia, with the manufacturers about this deadly malfunction. Maybe then they all got in an argument, and that is when guns got involved. Guns, guns, guns. Not a bad story. But you seem to forget that Bogdanov died before Spencer's device malfunctioned. Uh, that's right, Chief. Anyway, I think Mr. Mikhailov can fill in the blanks for us. What do you think? I agree, Chief. Very well. I accept your request, and I will talk to a judge as soon as possible. Thank you, Chief. I have nothing further to mention at this time. Your questioning warrant for Ilya Mikhailov was approved by a judge, and I immediately sent an elite team to detain him. He is now waiting in the interview room to be questioned. Great. Shall we get going, then? I'm not going anywhere. This was your call, and he belongs to you. You mean, I have to interview him alone? Yes. You have interviewed novices before. This man isn't any different. Just go in there and do your job. Understood, Chief. Mr. Mikhailov? You were brought here to be questioned about the murder of Vasily Bogdanov. Any thought that appears in your head can be viewed on the screens behind you, so there's no point in lying. If you cooperate with me, the procedure will be short and less emotionally painful for you. Do you understand? Uh, yes, I do. Good. I'm going to be asking you questions, and I expect you to give relevant answers. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Mr. Mikhailo, are you currently a Gambino crime family member? No, I am not. Mr. Mikhailo, I'm warning you. Your lies will not be tolerated. I would be forced to bring in neurology experts. 
and they search for clues in your brain instead of asking. Oh, fine. And believe me, this procedure is usually causes permanent brain damage. Uh, I see. Okay, okay. I will not lie. Now, are you currently a Gambino crime family member? Yes, I am. Did you murder Vasily Bogdanov? No, I did not. Tell me about these devices first. Where did they come from? I don't know their origin. They were produced by us in one of our facilities, in Odessa. Who designed them? I don't know. I'm only aware that 20 of them were produced and smuggled into the Union for test marketing. How were they smuggled? Through the eastern border. Who gave them to Bogdanov? Bogdanov was the original recipient. He was? Of course. He is was a trusted Gambino. I thought he escaped from you guys. Nobody can run away from the Gambinos. We gave him money to immigrate into the Union. So the plan was that Bogdanov was going to test market these devices through the thing store. Yes, that was the idea. He was to give the devices to his customers on a trial basis and send feedback to his family through me. These devices? What is so special about them? I was told that they produce artificial input as realistic as any real input. In other words, you cannot hear or see anything while using these devices? Or smell, touch, taste. You can't even move. After seeing the extraordinary demand for the devices, he started renting them at skyrocketing rates. Of course, he couldn't hide this from us forever. We asked for the rental money. He told us that he is a World Union citizen now, and out of our reach. He asked for a concession. Wow. Vasily used to be a very mellow man. I could not understand what was happening to him. The bastard was right. He was out of our reach. It is impossible for us to do anything violent within the World Union. Even our most notorious hitmen seem to get scared and tamed down when they are in the World Union for some reason that we could not identify. So we took the situation to our Grand Don in Moscow. He said he will handle it himself. In a few days, the Don appeared in Odessa. Who brought him there? How did he get there? I haven't a clue. He looked very calm and tranquil, as if he was drunk. He was drunk, I don't know. Who used the firearm? Some local hitman in Odessa. I don't know his name. It does not matter. I will capture an image of the incident from your memories. What's going to happen to me? First, you will be treated in one of our rehabilitation centers. Then, you will be sent back to the Russian police. I bet they know what to do with you. Phoenix, I am proud to tell you that you have successfully solved the Bogdanov case. Your progress could have been faster, but that's okay. Thank you, Chief Morrison. I know I could have dealt with the case more efficiently. You know... I was watching you from behind the mirror in the interview room. Your question of Mikhailov was exemplary. Thank you again, Chief. Now you need to pack your bags. I do? Why? Am I being transferred? Well, sort of. You're going to Odessa, Russia, to help the Russian police find Mr. Bogdanov's murderer. I've already transferred the image of the murderer to the police chief of Odessa. The GPSN and the Russian security forces agreed to establish a joint team in order to deal with this Gambino crime organization. And you're a part of this team, representing the World Union as Lieutenant Peace Officer Phoenix Wallace. Lieutenant Wallace? Oh, thank you, Chief. It wasn't only me who felt you deserved this promotion. Our Chief Executive Officer also suggested that you should be promoted. Thank you again for all your help, Chief. You're welcome. Now, an even more challenging task is waiting for you in Russia. I can assure you, 
It's going to be very stressful and difficult. I can only imagine, but I am confident and I know I can handle it. I'm sure you will. By the way, here is your certificate for your outstanding performance. Good luck, Phoenix. Thank you, Chief Morrison. 92. You know, I'm not sure if they ever changed this. I don't remember. Why is she wearing a PDA? I don't think that even works in any Marsha. Oh, now you know it. Alright. Thanks for watching this massive long play of Popol and Nata, or Renata, whatever that's pronounced. I hope you quite enjoy it, this long journey. And learn a lot about selfishness and and rich people and and uh, uh, sex, lots of sex. All right, talk up for now.